Hi. In this video, I would like to discuss about the sales and inventory forecast in a business center. We have the new functionality uh, based on the Microsoft Azure AI service. We will get the um, inventory and sales forecast of the inventory and sales prediction data based on the historical data in business center. So in the, this video, I'll discuss about uh, setting up uh, forecasting in business center and how to use the forecast data in business center. Now in the item card, we have forecast section in the fat box in item card. So you will get um, uh, based on the historical data and based on your settings, you will get uh, the prediction of forecast for the sales and inventory. Now you are seeing the inventory forecast for the item 1920. So in the forecast drop down, we have different options. You can switch to sales forecast and you can switch to inventory forecast and uh, you can go to the forecast settings page and you can go the settings based on your uh, business and if you want to delete any of the existing sales forecast you can delete it from here and based on uh, the data which you are seeing here uh, the forecast data if you would like to create a purchase or our purchase invoice you can directly create the document from here so this is the basic view of um, uh, forecast inventory and sales forecast uh, in uh, item uh, master record and uh, next thing is how we can um, uh, do the settings for uh, sales and inventory forecast either you can connect the forecast settings from here or you can uh, directly search the sales and inventory forecast setup here so this is the uh, main setup screen here you can do the uh, desired uh, settings for sales and uh, forecast. A uh, few are the fields uh, we have um, to uh, furnish and uh, we need to enable this uh, service. Then only you will be able to uh, see the forecast in item MasterCard. The first field is the uh, period type. Here you can uh, specify the type of period uh, that you want to see the forecast uh, by if if you would like to see the forecast by month you can select by month and if you want to see the forecast by week you can select week likewise uh, in this field you can select the uh, period type based on your um, forecast requirement next field is the horizon uh, this horizon field specifies how many periods you want the forecast to cover in future uh, how many periods uh, uh, you want to get the forecast if if i want a 12 months forecast i can put it 12 and uh, if you want a six months forecast you can uh, put it six likewise you can specify the uh, time period uh, for which you would like to get the forecast next field is the stock warning horizon this means uh, uh, this field specifies how far in the future you want to look for stock outs so uh, based on your um, business data and uh, based on the calculations, uh, uh, you can specify here how far in the future you want to uh, see the uh, stock out uh, warning for the inventory items. Next field is the expiration uh, period. Uh, this field is in, in days uh, and uh, this field specifies the number of days until the forecast expires. So I put seven days. After seven days, this forecast data will be experienced automatically. And next field is very important. This is a historical period. Based on this number of historical periods, the data will be taken for the prediction or forecast calculation. So you can put, um, you can specify in this field the number of historical periods from which to get data for the forecast calculation. So I put uh, um, uh, 12, uh, 12 months um, periods of uh, historical data to be assessed and get calculated for the inventory and sales forecast uh, 
in this setup and uh, here in uh, time series model uh, we have different standard uh, Microsoft um, AI models uh, these all are trained models and based on that we are getting the uh, data for sales and inventory forecast so you can uh, use any of these um, uh, standard uh, trained models to get the forecast and next important two fields are API URL field and API key uh, because uh, we are uh, using the Microsoft uh, Azure AI service uh, for this uh, uh, sales and inventory forecast data in business center so you should uh, connect uh, uh, this business center data with Microsoft uh, Azure AI and uh, Microsoft uh, Machine Learning uh, Studio so uh, and once you have uh, get those details uh, of API for the Azure AI, AI service you should update the API URL and API key in this setting screen then only the system will communicate and uh, get the update of uh, uh, the uh, inventory and sales forecast for doing that you can click on this open Azure AI gallery button uh, just click on this function and the system will redirect to Azure AI gallery in this Azure AI gallery you will get a, a brief guide about how this model is working and uh, what are the uh, basic fields uh, we are using for getting this uh, inventory and sales forecasting all this uh, get, you will get a brief idea about uh, how this model is working and from here you just uh, click on this open in studio just click this and uh, this will redirect to on the Microsoft machine learning studio here uh, you should select the region of your application service and you should select the workspace and click on this OK button now you can uh, see the model uh, this is the uh, standard model uh, forecasting model for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and uh, you don't want to do any changes here you just uh, use it this standard model the thing you need to do is just run this model and you should just publish to gallery and you just deploy the web service these are the three actions you need to perform here and otherwise uh, you don't go for any other changes because we are using the standard model which is uh, developed by microsoft for microsoft business center so these services are already uh, uh, deployed and uh, uh, published in my instance so I don't want to run here but in your case you can just run this service and you can deploy the web service and you can publish this service to your gallery once you published you can come to this web services menu and you can see the published services here just click on this service name and uh, here in this page you can see the API key you you can uh, copy this API key and you can paste into your API key field in the sales and inventory forecast setup screen in business central same way uh, you can see the API uh, page hyperlink here request and response API link here you can just click on this uh, button this will uh, redirect to the uh, request and response API documentation screen and here you can see the uh, post API URL you can copy this and you can paste into this API URL uh, field in the sales and inventory forecast setup in business center so this is the only things you need to take in care and only things you need to do in the Azure uh, gallery and uh, in the Microsoft machine learning studio and uh, otherwise you don't need to any uh, changes on this because uh, as I mentioned earlier we are using the standard uh, trained model for this uh, sales and inventory forecast and which is uh, developed and um, published by Microsoft so now we have all the fields has been um, furnished and uh, you can enable this uh, sales and inventory forecast setup now uh, the system is ready and you will get um, a sales and inventory forecast uh, data based on these uh, settings this is the uh, forecast data for this particular item and uh, if, if if you want to update frequently you can uh, 
uh, go to the actions and in the forecast you can click on the update sales forecast and another option is that uh, you can uh, make it bad job and you can schedule uh, to run this um, update for this forecast and you can do it in the uh, job queues use the job queues functional in business center i will uh, show you how to do that in the sales and inventory forecast from this uh, setup screen you can click on the update forecast this will uh, create a, a job queue entry and uh, you can schedule it uh, then in the background system will update it regularly job queue entries you can see a scheduled job is in progress for the sales and forecast update and you can uh, update it based on your requirement you can make it a recurring job and you can schedule the task if you want and you can uh, get the update of data if you have the frequent transitions and you want to check the historical data and you need to update the uh, you need to get the updated forecast data you can schedule it likewise otherwise uh, from the item card you can click on the actions and you can go for the forecast and you can manually click on this update sales forecast so this is the way you know, we can uh, use the uh, sales and inventory forecast in business central and these are the settings you need to take and care for this sales and inventory forecast uh, feature or functional and business center so uh, that is in this video and if you have any doubts or you would like to discuss more about this uh, you can uh, reach out to me through the email or the whatsapp number as seen in this screen so thank you for connecting and watching the video